Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining. This is Dr. Rose with Dr. Rose's Perfume Corner. How's everyone doing tonight? If you are new here, welcome. If you are a subscriber, return subscriber, thank you so much for joining me. Today I want to talk about my perfume lineup for the week. That is week six. This is my six weeks since I've been doing this uh, show every Friday. So how's everyone doing? So I see Ali Alexander, uh, the old factory zone, perfumes with Pat. Hi Pat, thank you for joining. Uncommon Sense. Uh, who else do we have? Belinda. Uh, I have, let me see. So, so far, all right. Uh, Akisia, thank you so much for, uh, for joining Akisia. So I hope you guys had a good week and lo you're looking forward to the weekend. I had an okay week. Uh, no, com you know, no, no, com no complaint. Could have been better, but you know, you take the good with the bad, right? So uh, I have some news to share with you guys. I have made it to my 4,000 hours. I am so happy. Uh, I made it to my, uh, the, the channel made it to the 4,000 watch hours. So it's a uh, really uh, big milestone for me and I'm, I'm happy that, that uh, this has happened. So I have uh, five beautiful perfumes that I wore this week. So the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I don't usually talk about the ones on Sundays because I want to keep it short and just talk about those uh, five perfumes. Uh, hi, Nelly. Uh, thank you, Nelly. Thank you. Uh, hi, Misty. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Uh, it was because of all of you guys who pulled in and then supported me and, you know, who made this happen. Uncommon Sense, you are my rock. Chaperonzo, oh my God. Hey, Shaul. Uh, Chaperonzo, you, I mean, you made this happen. You. So one thing that Chaperonzo said uh, to me the other day when I sent him a proof, hi, Yvonne, when I sent him the proof uh, that I, uh, I made the 4,000 hours, he said, you turn shit, it turns into diamond. <laughs> so it was a big compliment for what he said, for what, 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 what when he said that I actually, I, I laugh a little. Hi, Amina. So I want to talk about those five beautiful perfumes, but one of them, I'm not going to tell you guys the name because I want to play a little game. And so, uh, on Common Sense and I, we will have a uh, kind of like when On Common Sense uh, makes his 4,000 hours, which is very soon. And you guys, thank you so much for, you know, for supporting him. Hey, Gillen, thanks so much for supporting him. So he's uh, he's getting close. So if you guys can give him that little extra support for me, I would really appreciate it. He had some new videos out. He had some new lives. Just, you know, watch watch his lives and, and, and let them play. Uh, but tonight I will donate uh, a, a decant of a perfume, and then when Uncommon Sense uh, uh, have and I we have you know his life to celebrate his uh, his milestone, we will have some other giveaways. So Ali Alex and said Dark Rose, uh, Parfum Fennec. Okay, I need to put this on the screen, and I'm going to translate it for those of you who do not speak Creole. He said uh, Doctor. She said Doctor Rose. This perfume is uh, having men follow me all, all, all over the place. So my sister went to uh, Haiti uh, this week and I sent uh, a perfume to uh, this young lady who lives in Haiti. So she, obviously she received it. So she said that guys are follow, following her all over the place because of the perfume. Well, I'm glad, uh, you know, it's doing the work, but you know, you know, this is COVID. Don't let them follow you too close, right? <laughs> Stay away from them. After COVID, you can date them. You can do whatever you want to do. Uh, Misty. Oh, Misty is, is having a conversation with Amina. All right. So uh, are you guys ready to uh, to hear, to see the first uh, perfume for, uh, uh, for the day, that uh, the one that I wore on Monday? And for those of you who have seen my uh, last unboxing video, it was this perfume here. It was Mansera Saharian Wind. Uh, I'm using, uh, I'm not using my camera, so this is kind of, you know, hard to see. So hopefully you guys can see it. 
and I will uh, link them below. And as you can see now on my channel, uh, you guys, if you guys want to, uh, you know, be nice and donate uh, something to me, what they call, uh, it's called, let me look at it. it. It's called Super Chat. You you guys can, you know, donate uh, Super Chat and then uh, donate something to uh, help me, help my ch channel go. And you see there's a, a dollar sign on the bottom of the ch of the chat. You can just click that. And then if you want to make a donation, you're welcome to, but it's not necessary. Uh, so let me talk about that perfume again. So how young when this is a leather bomb perfume guys. So I, I did the first, uh, presentation of this, uh, when I did the un unboxing, uh, uh, last week, I think last week or last weekend, but I wore this thing on Monday. I kept smelling myself. And I love Mancera, right? I love Mancera perfumes. But this perfume, my goodness. It's, you know, the leather, right? Uh, it has bergamot, pink pepper, sp some spices. It has lily of the valley, uh, cypress, lavender, patchouli. Uh, it also has tobacco, vanilla, amber, and white moss. This perfume has, you know, makes its, it, it made its mark in the perfume industry. If you guys get it, an opportunity to smell this perfume, you should smell it. You should test it. Uh, Annie, that was, uh, you are glowing. That scarf and makeup is on point. Thank you. Thank you so much, Annie. So since you mentioned my, my scarf, let me tell you guys about this scarf. So I'm a very big supporter of, uh, Oh, I got some money. Thank you, Annie. Woo! And thank you, Chaperonzo. Thank you so much. Wow, you guys are just awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, okay. Uh, let me talk about the Ibram. Uh, he said, yeah, I need to make more. So I don't know what, what he's saying there. So, let me uh, uh, tell you guys about my scarf. So I'm a big supporter of uh, Breast Cancer Foundation and all the money that I, any money that I make tonight, I'm going to donate it to the Breast Cancer Foundation. And we have a show coming up on Tuesday. Uh, it's uh, four of us. It's myself, Amina, uh, Tara from All Factor File and Erin from Erin Sullivan Beauty. So that show we are going to talk about uh, trying to raise some money for breast cancer. So this scarf, this is this one is from last year. I haven't uh, received the one from this year. So I buy one or two of them every year. They're not expensive. They, uh, I think this one was maybe $22. So what they do, all the proceeds for this scarf goes towards breast cancer research. They also help women uh, get mammogram if they need to, uh, to, to, to get mammogram. Uh, Chaperon Zo is playing, just give me another five five dollars. Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, he said so. You can buy perfume to give to people in Haiti that cannot buy perfumes. Thank you so much, Chaperon Zo. Thank you. I will do that. I will take care of that. Again, back to the to the to the scarf. Uh, we, if you buy the scarf, you can go to the uh, uh, Ford Cares Foundation, and you buy the scarf. It takes a little while to get it because a lot of people are buying them or supporting it. So they use the money to support. Hey, and hey, hello, Misha. They use the money to support uh, uh, people who are in need of, uh, you know, mammogram and also women who have to go for breast cancer uh, surgery and the families w w where they, when they need places to stay. So they use that money to help them also, you know, uh, uh, to support cancer research. So, uh, if you guys can, you know, afford it to buy a scarf, and you know, it's it's the it's the uh, uh, fall and then the winter is coming, so everybody's everybody who needs uh, who lives in a place where it's cold, you're going to need a scarf. Even if you live in Texas, sorry guys, even if you live in Texas, you can actually wear a scarf. So it's you know, it it it's beautiful with your outfit, and this one is the Infinity scarf, and I think they still have them. So if my microphone is making some noise, it's the Infinity scarf, so you can. 
you know, turn it around. You can use it as a uh, thing on your, I mean, I guess as a head wrap. Uh, you can use it as a, as a uh, bracelet. You can do a lot a lot with this scarf. I, I love this scarf. This is like my third or fourth year buying those scarves, and, and I uh, enjoy enjoy wearing them. Hi, Alfin. So uh, enough about the scarf, and I, I will talk about the scarf again. Oh my God, I think I just took it off. All right, I will I will talk about the scarf again as we have uh, as we have more people we have as we have more people uh, joining us. Hi, Sola. Uh, good night, doctor. I was hoping all is well. You look beautiful as usual. Thank you so much, Sola. I hope you receive your uh, your your package today, and then you you loved it as much as other people love the package that they they purchase, they purchased uh, uh, this week. So, again, so how you win? Uh, Lumi, sir, you need this in your life, baby girl. You need this perfume. I know you're going to buy it. I know you just bought the, one of the biggest perfume, my favorite perfume. You just bought it, but you need this one. Uh, you will like this one. It, this is a powerhouse. I, you know, it's a powerhouse, strong perfume. Like uh, Lulu usually says, uh, refers to this perfume as, you know, stunting stunt, stunt the hose. I, I don't know how to say it. I can never say it uh, the way she said it, but it is that kind of, uh, that, that, that kind of uh, uh, perfume. Oh, studying a, a separate makeup channel. You know, uh, you know, I I probably will do a makeup makeup channel, but except I, I'm not really good at, at doing makeup. Sometimes I I do it and I look horrible. Sometimes it comes out okay. Today I didn't do much because I went and got my eyebrow done. I after work I went and got my eyebrow done. So whenever your eyebrows done, you don't need a lot of makeup. I'm just wearing some lipstick and some. Uh, face powder and some blush, but, but thank you. Th th thank you so much. I, I don't know if I'll do a makeup channel, but I may talk about some makeup, uh, do a show and, and talk about some of my makeup because I do have a lot of makeup. Believe me, I have over probably close to 50 eyeshadow palettes. And this lady in the group, uh, one of the, my friends in the group, she was so nice over to give me all these eyeshadows and, uh, all of this makeup, uh, uh this week. And I'm so grateful that I have all of that stuff from her. So I need to use them, and 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 she gave me everything you, you you know a woman needs under the sun. So again, you know, Mancera, if you guys don't have this one, uh, you know, get it, find it. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, I got it directly from the Mancera website. And one other thing I wanna I wanna share with you guys. Is that since uh, my channel is monetized, you know, monetization doesn't mean anything for us because we, we we won't make any money for maybe twenty years. Uh, hi, sunflower. Uh, thank you for joining. So, Missy said I would love some makeup video. Oh my God, you are going to get me kicked off kick off of uh, YouTube because people are going to. If I do a makeup video, people are going to. Uh, start uh removing themselves from from my channel because i'm not good at it i'm not good at doing makeup i'm good at a lot of things but you know there are two things i'm not good in life one of them is makeup the other one is swimming so i'm saying away, i try to stay away from both of them uh oh ollie said i love you dr rose and for life oh my gosh that is so sweet of you thank you so much ollie see uh that makeup channel is my calling. Okay, I don't think I, I need to have a separate makeup channel. I think I can do makeup on this channel also because the channel is about perfume and beauty. So I can maybe do, I'll try to do a, a makeup, makeup, not like just do a makeover, maybe talk about makeup, different things, you know, skincare, those kind of things. Uh, I love skincare. I like taking care of my skin and then exercising and eating healthy. Maybe I can talk about those things, right? All right. So, uh, I was approved for a Amazon, uh, what do they call it? Oh my God. Chaperon Zoe is giving me money like crazy. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Chaperon Zoe. Thank you so much. Uh, Lumisa said, I never look horrible. <laughs> you are so sweet. You are too kind. Lumisa. Believe me. Sometimes I do look, I do look, uh, horrible. 
uh, I have what's called an affiliate link for Amazon. So if you use that link to buy, you click on that link and then you buy things on Amazon, I will get a little uh, something on Amazon if you do that. Uh, thank you, Sunflower. And uh, also ha I have uh, an affiliate link for Fragrance Net. That is like the best thing ever because a lot of people buy from Fragrance Net. And I will post that link on my channel and I also put, will post it on, on, on Facebook. So if you guys want to support my channel, you can use that link to buy. You get the same discounts that you usually get, except I think I get maybe I get something. It's not much, but every little bit helps. And it will help my channel. It will help me to uh, help people who, you know, you know, I donate a lot of perfumes to people to help people who need, you know, this perfume. Because to me, the gift of perfume, the gift of beauty is the best thing ever that anyone can do can, can you can do for someone giving uh a bottle of perfume to somebody uh who needs it who can use it it you know it's it's the best thing uh what's 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 the name of what uh of what uh Lumisa? uh tell me the uh ask your question again because i uh i don't know what you meant that what, what you meant by that hey julian Hey, thank you so much for joining, Julian. We have 34 people here. This is so great. This is nice. So, uh, strangely enough, we are from the Caribbean and we don't swim. <laughs> oh, my God. I cannot believe you put me out like that, Ursula. <laughs> Remind me, the next time I'm send, sending you a decade of perfume, I'm going to send you half. <laughs> I know. You know, it's this is something with most people from the Caribbean. Hi, hi, Inicia. Uh, okay, so Inicia said definitely uh, post a link. She's making a, a purchase tonight. Okay, I will post a link uh, after after this show. I will, I will post a link uh, uh, for you. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, we, uh, it's true. We are from Haiti. We grew up. I grew up in Haiti, but I cannot swim. Hey, Toyen, I cannot swim to save my life. So a uh, couple of years ago, I tried to take off swimming lessons and I have really muscular shoulders, right? So the little guy, there was a little man, they are teaching us how to swim and my little niece and nephew were in the same pool with a bunch of kids swimming. I probably was the only uh, old person there <laughs> taking swimming lessons. And the guy was making fun of my shoulders saying, all oh, those broad shoulders, you know, your, your body's stiff. I call him every name that was in the book under the sun and I left. And I went and asked for a refund and I never went back. So, you know, I need to go back because I'm not a quitter, right? Uh, every time I try to do something, I always succeed at it. So I'm not a quitter. So I really need to go back and learn how to swim. Uh, and it's only fair that I learn how to swim because I think I should learn how to swim. Uh, my niece, I, young niece and, and, and nephews, my little two-year-old niece was swimming the other day. I was like, she, if she's learning how to swim, I should be able to do this, right? So I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to learn. All right, so enough about swimming. <laughs> I know, it's a great workout, and I need to do it. Yeah, and, and I really need uh, to, yeah, to do. I mean, yeah, Sunflower, he, he's like, oh, those both shoulders. I was like, man, I my, my temper just came out, and I just call him some names. My sister was there. She's like, what did you do? I said, you know, MF called me, told me that, you know, my shoulders were, were too broad in and I would never learn how to swim. I should have just kicked him under the water, but I, you know, I didn't kick him under the water, but I left. They, they gave me my money back. So let's talk about the second perfume. The second perfume of the, uh, that I wore on Tuesday, it was Carnal Flower by uh, Dominic. It's Dominic uh, Wopion Frederick Mal. So, this is not a, a, a fall fragrance. I don't think it's fall. I think it's more like maybe spring. But Carnal Flower is such a beautiful uh, fragrance. Uh, okay, so Lumisa said, what Mansera perfume was I talking about? So Lumisa, the one I was talking about is Sahayan Wen. I have a video about it too. I'm tapping it. I'm going to type it here for you. I uh, apologize if I if I misspell it. I spell it correctly. So it's Sahelian Wen. You can get it right now on the Mansera website. I think it's Mansera Perfume or Mansera Fragrance. 
if you google Montserrat, you'll see the website for it you can get it and it, it was free shipping i received it within i think within four four to five days it came really really quick it was uh, sent to me really quick uh you you will like it i don't think you know i know most of the things you have in your collection because we always talk about perfumes i don't think you have anything like that in your collection so you really need this one so let's go back to kernel flower uh kernel flower this one has it was created in 2005 and thank you gillian for putting for putting the notes together for me otherwise i would be lost without you 2005 top notes are again bergamot melon eucalyptus i don't smell the eucalyptus too much in it otherwise i probably would go crazy because i don't like eucalyptus in perfumes it has elon elon jasmine tuberose it, it is a tuberose bomb great great tuberose perfume and it has also some a uh, herbal pheromone whatever that is uh it, it's used by plants as uh, as a uh, warning something right and it has tuberose orange blossom coconut and moss kernel flower you know as you can see i have used it a lot right i've either i've used it a lot of given given uh some 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 from it the owl factor is on said eucalyptus is 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 tough to wear if it's overpowered no actually it's not olfactory it's actually not uh tough because otherwise i, I probably wouldn't be able to wear it because i like eucalyptus in other things maybe in a body lotion to to maybe uh you know, put on my feet and stuff. But, you know, I couldn't, if it had a lot of eucalyptus in it, I couldn't work, but I don't smell it at all. Uh, I, I mean, it's, you know, if you take your time to like, you know, savor the, the perfume, like you're drinking a really, really good alcoholic drink, maybe you can smell it just very, very little, right? But uh, it doesn't have a lot, but this is, if you live like in Hawaii, uh texas you know uh those kind of areas uh you can actually wear this perfume you can wear it all year long uh for those of you who live in florida it's great it's a little pricey guys uh, i wouldn't say you know go out and run and buy it but if you need something to go out right i mean i were to work because i wanted to talk about it today otherwise you know this will not be my going to work perfume because I try not to uh, use a lot of my expensive perfumes every day because I leave them for special occasion. I don't know what that special occasion is ever going to be because I haven't had one since COVID, right? But it's great to go out, maybe not a Saturday night uh, festivity uh, perfume. This is to me more like, how, uh, what day would I say this is for? Maybe like a Saturday during the day uh, kind of perfume. You're going, to, you're going to lunch or you're going to a birthday party or you're going to a, a baby shower. To me, this is that's that kind of perfume. It's even good for a wedding, for an for a, uh, early Saturday wedding. You could wear that, you know, to, for an early, early sa sa Saturday uh, wedding. Uh, you know, I cannot stop talking about it because it's great. The person who actually turned me into, into uh, 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 Frederick Mao was uh, Amina. She, Amina told me to buy this, to buy uh, Frederick Mal. So I bought that one. And then I also purchased this one, which is Moss Ravager. And I've had it for a while, but I haven't, I have yet to use it, but I, uh, I haven't even opened it because I'm saving it to do it on uh, unboxing video. Uh, yes. So all, uh, all factor is on. If your wife likes uh, light, tuberose perfumes not over over on um, over empowering uh she would she would like this one it's uh it's it's great uh you should try to get a, 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 a tester if you like just send drop me a note uh i, I will uh get you a test a test of it because you know it's a big bottle great 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 perfume i cannot stop talking about it it's it's wonderful so my uh third perfume that i wore for the week was the one and only. Can you guys tell me which one it is? <laughs> Let's see who, who's going to guess it. Tell me who can guess which one I wore this week. It's the one and only 
my favorite jasmine perfume come on now guys you can you guys get this tell me you guys you got you got it yes akisia you know what i haven't pulled this baby out yeah nelly also said it oh my god everybody knows <laughs> you guys know me too them well <laughs> everybody knows which, which perfume that is jasmine which by tom ford so okay I, you know full disclosure i read somewhere this week that jasmine was was being discontinued and i almost lost my mind i said i think i was calling tom ford every single name that was in the book but you know i so i i got home i got on the phone and i called five different locations five different stores everybody says no no hey lulu uh everybody says no it's not been discontinued and i think you know the person who posted it was probably made, maybe trying to make some money by saying that it was discontinued because the person probably had some you know something uh you know uh, a, a big stack to sell uh i think that's you know probably what what it was so uh julian could say oh no we, we all should buy it so what I did just to protect myself because this is my favorite. I mean, you know, if you guys uh, have seen my first first actual video on YouTube with those glasses with all the glaring where I look like I was about to jump out of my skin because I was so nervous for making a video, first video on YouTube, that's the perfume I talked about. And there's a story about this perfume. So even though this bottle is 90% uh, full, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's about 90% full. I went and bought and, and, and purchased another bottle because I do not want to be without this perfume. And if, if I find out this perfume has actually been discontinued, I'm going to send a letter to Tom Ford and ask him, you know, how come he's discontinued the perfume? And also, I'm going to, you know, maybe buy everything else, everything they have, you know, left for, to last me for the next 10 years of my life. That's how much I love, I love, I love Jasmine Woods. And uh, my friend, uh, Lumi, sir, this week went oh my god so how much money are you giving me today you've given like so much money already uh my friend uh lumisio went and bought the big 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 bottle so for those of you who are just joining now uh if you notice that chaperone zo gave me gave me two dollars he was giving, giving me some money so since my channel is monetized now if you wanted to help and support my channel uh, you can, you know, uh, there's this, a, a goal, I mean, a dollar sign on the bottom of the screen. You can click on it and then you can donate something if you like. Uh, so someone said, hold on. Uh, yes, you get on that Tom Ford if, 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 if this continues. I know, I know. Six Rockin' Robin. Hi, you are new here. This is my first time seeing you. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for coming. Uh, I'm happy to see you here. I love those eyebrows and that that eye makeup in your picture. Beautiful. Uh, Julian, yes, she got the big, no, she. I think she got the eight ounce. Is eight ounce equal to 250 ml? I guess. She got the gigantic uh, one. And I saw a post it and I didn't know that it was a gigantic one until I look, look at the picture closely. I was like, oh my gosh. This thing will last you forever, Lumisa. You're, you are never, ever uh, going to be without, without this perfume. And it's worth it. It, I mean, you know, the, it, it's kind of like an erotic perfume. That's, you know, that's the way Tom Ford described this perfume. It's an erotic, hedonistic blend. Uh, it has bergamot, mandarin, cinnamon, ginger, uh, cardamom, black and white pepper. It also has some, you know, full of jasmine, full of, of personalities. You wear this perfume in the in the winter. You are sure, sure to get uh you are sure to get uh, to, to get someone to, to say something to you. Uh, yeah, so girlfriend, I always notice people who are new to my channel because you know I know most of the people, and when people come new new come to the channel, I, I try to welcome them, and uh, I love it the fact that you are here, and I hope you will continue on, on coming. And I talk about perfumes, and then I you know I'm I'm kind of like a, co a comedian, but I will never want to work as a comedian full time because I probably will starve because some of my jokes are not that funny, but I do try to make people laugh. 
uh, that ja Tom Ford, Jasmine, Jasmine Woods, guys. I think every woman in America should have this perfume. If you like Jasmine, every woman in America uh, should have this perfume in, uh, you know, uh, in, in, in her collection. And guys, because it, it's unisex. Uh, so uh, Julia said, hey, you all, I will support your channel. You and your fellow frag people have given so much join. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Julia. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So again, if you guys don't have this one, go get it uh you can get it on fragrance x fragrance net and i'm going to uh post a link below where uh it's you know you will you will get it for the same price and uh my channel will get a little something uh because i i do have a uh what did what did i call it i cannot remember an affiliate code for fragrance net now and i will post it so yeah so Nelly, it's so, I mean, this is so good, guys. This is so good. So the first person who gave me this perfume <laughs> was a boyfriend, right? A guy I used to date when I lived in Washington, D.C. He hates me. I hate him. I don't, I don't hate people, but he hates, he hates my guts because he, he wished that I was dead. But he gave me the first perfume. That was the best gift ever that he gave me. And uh, I, you know, I keep buying it. I keep buying it. And I still have the you know, the bottle that he gave me, but I just don't use it anymore. I just, you know, it's, I just, I kept it in, in a corner somewhere. It's sexy, 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 sexy perfume. Uh, beast mode, uh, beast mode, diva mode kind of perfume, you know, uh, worth it, worth every single penny. Hi, and coming. I mean, hi, uh, fragrance anatomy. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Great, great, uh, fragrance uh, to have. And one of these is I'm going to act just like uh, 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 Lumiso. I'm going to buy the big giant bottle when this one is finished. Well, I have another one, but maybe if they don't stop making it. All right. So my next perfume is a perfume that I've spoke, I've talked about already. <laughs> she said, "Well, right, you keep it in a corner somewhere where the old boyfriend belongs." Apparently, yes, <laughs> that's exactly where the guy belongs. I was driving with him uh, in Washington, D.C., and he was really upset. And I said, uh, what's wrong with you? He's like, you're getting on my nerve. I said, what did I do? He said, well, the one thing that you did is that you, you start, you're still breathing. I was like, oh, my gosh. So you're driving and you say, I'm still breathing? So what's wrong with this guy? So when we got to the next light, I uh, took my purse. I got out of the car. And then I call a taxi and I went home, never saw him again. I had things at his house. I left them there. And we, I dated him for like almost three years. It was three years, three, 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 three years of excruciating pain. Uh, he was a, you know, an ex-vet. He had a lot of uh, emotional issues. Nothing related to military. Nothing related to military. Just, you know, his, his mother did, did, not, did not love him enough. Did not, I guess, hug him enough. Yeah, so uh, I walked, walked away out of that relationship. I left some really nice shoes. And, you know, I'm a shoe lover, so I felt bad for leaving my shoes. I didn't even want to call him and say, send me my shoes. But I had my perfume in my purse. <laughs> so never went back. And that was the end of it. We stopped talking, you know, from that day on. Uh, and then I just moved on. Anyway, my uh, number. So we have went over Connor Flower. Uh, Sahar Unwin, and also Jasmine Wuj. So now let's talk about uh, this one, this perfume here. Uh, this one here is Patchouli Audit. Look at the bottle. Oh my gosh. This bottle, is, the way it looks right here does not do it justice, okay? This perfume. Oh yeah, uh, Cheryl, uh, I have a, there's this thing. There's this thing in my forehead, right? You cannot see it, but it just says across my forehead, losers are welcome, seriously. I have met some really creepy people, but I think the fact that I'm still, you know, uh, I'm a nice person, I'm still alive, you know, so uh, this is why, you know, one of those guys hasn't, you know, off me yet. <laughs> 
And whenever I notice that they are going crazy, I just, you know, get away from them. So here, here it is, patchouli audit. This one uh, was released in 2020, so this year, but I purchased it this year. And I think I've seen this one uh, on, uh, what's that, Fragrance Net or Fragrance X. I think I've seen it. Don't quote me on that. I think I've, I've, I've uh, oh, you can, you can relate, Amina? Oh, girl, I can tell you stories. I have millions and millions of stories of crazy men that I've met. They, they all are just crazy. Oh, hi, Fan Fan. Hi, so Osman Fan Fan from Haiti. Thank you so much for joining. Hey, John. And guys, if I'm uh, not seeing uh, anyone, everybody, and, and acknowledging everybody, it's because I have to look at the side of the screen and then also look at the camera. So if I don't acknowledge you, it's not that I'm trying to be rude. It's because it's kind of difficult, you know, uh, to do both at the same time. Uh, so Patchouli Audit came in 2020. The person who uh, created this perfume is uh, Thierry Wasser. Uh, top notes are pink pepper, black pepper, and fig. Uh, middle notes are patchouli, Turkish rose, and cedar. And the base note is leather and moss. So I love patchouli, right? I don't like that, you know, patchouli right in your in your face, patchouli, right? This one to me is a sweet, it's kind of sweet patchouli because it has the rose, the Turkish rose in it. And it also has uh, a little bit of moss, but the leather makes this perfume a definitely a going, going out perfume. And I know on Common Sense says that, you know, he doesn't want to buy perfumes from Gale anymore. But, you know, I probably will stop buying from Gale. But guys, the ones that I have, I will not get rid of them because this one is a powerhouse patchouli. Sexy, sexy, beautiful uh warm you know winter type of perfume right winter uh fall type of perfume going out uh wear it with you know well for someone don't worry you know you can wear it for yourself it's your body it's your perfume right but this perfume uh must be worn for someone you must wear this perfume for somebody it's you know it's not don't worry to just to sit at home okay because you would not enjoy it as much as if you just wear this, this perfume out to go out, go out dancing, go to dinner. Uh, it's just, it's great. And you don't need to reapply it because it stays on the skin for a very long time, right? You, I mean, if you have this one, it's what, 100, uh, 125 ml, 4.2 ounce. This will last you a very long time because you only need very little, right, from this perfume. You don't, you don't need a lot uh, from this perfume. You just need, you, you, you need, you know, a little bit of, of that perfume to uh, to wear. So Julian Chris said, uh, Gerlin is John's favorite house. Okay, well, it's one of my favorite houses uh, also, uh, uh, John. And uh, matter of fact, I have one you are welcome to. Which one do you have uh, on Common Sense? Send it my way. No, actually, Give, donate it to somebody who, who would really, really, really uh, enjoy it because yours is probably a, a men's uh, colon. Donate it to, to somebody who would really, really like it because, you know, a lot of people like uh, Gale. So John said, Gale, yes, Gale is my favorite house, but Jovoy is coming up on my list too. I have, yes, I have two Jovoy and the person who actually is responsible for me buying those two Jovoys uh, is this person here. This crazy woman here, she's the one who actually pushed me, said, buy it, buy it, buy it. And I fell for it. But I've been enjoying them. I have Psychedelic. And uh, the other one, I cannot remember the other one. I haven't even opened the other one yet. Uh, I need to do an uh, unboxing with it. Uh, it's the, yeah, this this crazy lady here is the one who who, who made me uh, uh, buy that Jovoy perfume. The, those two Jovoy perfumes that I have. So this is perfume number four. Patchouli audit. If you can find it, uh, don't pay full price for it. Look around. I think it's probably uh, already available at the discounters. Look for it. Uh, maybe you probably can find it at fragrance uh, by that CA. I think that's why I saw it. Fragrance by, you know, just fragrance B U I dot C A. Uh, that's where you can. So, Lulu, are you at Lulu? Don't start with me, girl. Nobody pushes you, you run and buy. 
don't start with Melulu. I know you're gonna have a live this week. I'm gonna come there and just mess with you too. Uh, so uh, Julian is saying thank you to Lulu. <laughs> Okay, whatever. You know you pushed me to, to you made me buy these uh the, the, this these perfumes. And uncommon says no persuasion is needed. <laughs> okay, I'm done. All right, fine. Nobody pushed me. I bought them on my own. Are, are you guys happy now? So let's play a little game with my next my next perfume. So remember the remember the site I uh, I told you guys. Oh, Mag, thank you. My whole family is watching. Pressure is on you, dear. Oh, thank you. So I'm sure your mom is, your beautiful mom is watching and then uh, her, with her uh, uh, good looking husband. Uh, thank you so much. Dio, merci pour moi. Moi, merci ça. Moi, apprécie ça. So uh, that was how is the, the fragrance? It's, it's nice. I'm going to buy it. Which one, uh, Amina? This one? Oh, yeah. Get it. Buy this one, Amina. It's, it's beautiful. It's oh, it's lovely. Uh, again, it's not like your little girlish, girlish perfume, right? Uh, if you can find this one, buy it. Go to try fragrance uh buy that ca and look for it. I think I saw it there. They had it. I don't know if they still have it, but try to see if you if if you uh if you have it. So Jenkins said, uh, when are you going to talk about oils? oils? I did talk about oils last week, uh, uh, Williams Jenkins, except you were with your new girlfriend. You couldn't come to the show. I did talk about body oil on my live show with uh, on Common Sense. We did talk about body oils. So uh, I, will, I will do a, a special se a session for body oils. So uh, all factories don't say, I'm going to the mall tomorrow with my wife. Still trying her to get on board with my fragrance uh, hobby. So I really appreciate this tonight, Dr. Was because I have no idea of things she might like. Well, so here's one suggestion I would say, you know, everybody likes different fragrances. So instead of taking her to the mall and having her smelling all these perfumes, you know, I take trying perfume in, in the mall for someone who's not a, uh, a, you know, a perfume lover like, like us, right? It's too much because when they go to the mall, the salespeople are like right in your face, right? You know, with all this perfume they want, they want you to try. Uh, I would say it, maybe if you go to Nemi and Marcus, one of those places, they, you know, they, she can just, you know, they take their time. One person will, will take her around. But maybe find someone who can give you, uh, if you tell the person what she likes, maybe the person can uh, sell you a few little testers, different testers. So when she gets them, what she can do, she tell her, don't do like me, because when I get them, I smell all of them at once. Uh, Amina sent me a bunch of uh, testers. I smell all of them, one after the other. Within 10 minutes, I'd already smell all of them. Okay, so don't do like don't do like me. Get her a few testers, have her try them, right? She will test one uh, uh, for maybe she'll get it. If she receives it on Monday, she will test one, try it out, right? Word. And then the next day, she will try a different one. Uh, sorry, my, my mic uh, almost fell off. On, on the next day, she will try a different one and then get her to get used to them once she can find the one she has, that she likes. She might like more than one of them, but don't get her anything over overpowering. You know, if she doesn't like, you know, uh, like very, very strong, strong, strong perfumes. But I think this, this you know, patchouli ardent here. So those, uh, those three perfumes that I talk about, patchouli ardent, uh, Jasmine Rouge and Cornel Flower. I think any woman, any woman would, would really would like those, these, these perfumes, especially these two. These two has something about them that says, that says, you know, sexy, vibrant. You know, it, they don't tell you that I'm coming, right? When you wear that perfume, it doesn't say, hey, I'm coming to you, right? People have to be really, really close to you to smell, to smell that perfume, to smell it. But once you wear it, you feel it just makes you feel really sexy. Like you, you know, this is, you know, you are in your element, right? This is your perfume that you're in it. You know, you own it, especially if you want a really nice outfit. Uh, I think those two here, they, you know, they will, she will you know, the women will love, love these two. Uh, the patchouli audit, it's tough to buy someone that perfume at first, uh, as a first perfume, right? 
the reason why is because it's, it's kind of strong. It's very projecting. The projection of this goes like maybe a good six feet. So even someone with a mask on can still smell this perfume on you because that's, that's how strong and good it is. But I wouldn't start her with that. Maybe have it, you know, try it. She might, at first she might say, ew, because of, you know, some of the notes in it. But after she uh, puts it on, she might end up uh, really, really lo lo loving, loving that perfume. Uh, my niece uh, tried it the other day and she's like, oh, but she's only 14 years old anyway. So, you know, uh, Lulu said she's done with perfume. Lulu, that is the biggest lie I have heard for the day. That's the biggest, biggest lie. So, all right, let's play a little game before this show is over. Because I said I was going to only stay for 30 minutes. I don't want to keep people here too long. Even though we have 36 people, I can still talk about perfumes if you guys want to, you know, uh, want to wanna stick around. So, uh, I, this week I wore a perfume. And Gillian, you are not part of it. So, I wore a perfume this week. Uh and it's kind of like my, I would say, because, you know, in, 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 uh, on the show that I posted for today, I said, you know, one of the best wood, uh, uh, perfumes that you could never, I could never get, get away from. So I wore that perfume today. I've had it for a while. I have sprayed it on me, but not, not actually spend time wearing it and enjoying it. So I, what I did, I wore it the night before. And then I wore it again that morning after I took a shower. And my gosh, my bed smells just like that perfume. It still uh, has the same smell. My pillow has the same smell, right? Who said Tom Ford sex? Uh, Lulu, you have Tom Ford Jasmine Woods. How could you just say Tom Ford stinks? You know, I disagree. You may not like the perfume, but the perfume doesn't stink. Because you have one of you have one, you have Jasmine Woods. So anyway, uh, I that perfume was just so close to my body. I fell. I I mean, people came to work, came to my office, and said, "Oh my gosh, you smell uh, so good. You you I like your perfume. I like you know what with this the scent that you you are wearing today." That's how uh, how good. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Chaperonzo. That's how good you're smelling today uh, with you know with this perfume. Can anyone? Uh, so I'm gonna give you a hint. The person who guesses uh, this perfume that I'm wearing today, I will give you a tester of Saharian Wind. I will send. I will mail you a tester of Saharian Wind tomorrow. I cannot give you a decade of it because, you know, I paid a lot of money for it. You know, it wasn't. Uh, I didn't get it from the, what do you call that? From uh, uh, the discounters. So, but I will give you, I will give you a, a, a five uh, ml uh, tester of Saharian one. It, it's in a black bottle. If you can guess which perfume that is, I will give you a tester of Saharian one. That perfume is, Oh my God. Give, okay, give give you a clue. All right. So six Rockin' Robin said, give us a clue. It's an oud. It's oud perfume. That's what I'm gonna say. It's oud in a black bottle. A little pricey. Uh nope, not black, not black orchid. Uh, actually, I have I, I have black orchid and I donated, I gave it to, to uh, a colleague of mine today who's uh who's living. I, I've been working with him for the last four months and then he's living. Uh, leaving the company, leaving the hospital, so uh, I, I I donated. I gave I gave him the bottle because uh, you know I I really really like this guy. He's a really nice guy. Uh, our Harman Juno. No, I don't have that one actually. I don't have this one. Uh, Satin Mood uh, MFK. Nope. Uh, Tom Ford. Oh, oh Chapman was Tom Ford. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's not it. Julian, you guessed it. Oud for greatness. Yes. There it is. Oud for greatness by Inicio, guys. Oh my God. John said Killian was Oud. I don't, you know, I don't have that one, uh, John. I don't have Killian was Oud. Are you 
suggesting this one? Is it is it something uh, worth buying? Please let me know if you think it's worth buying because I uh, I am like in the I mean wood uh, mood to buy wood perfumes. This the, oh my god this perfume here oh so okay so you guys know that I always say that uh, wood lemon mint is my orgasm perfume right. Uh, I don't know. They, I need to find a name for this one. So I I did send a tester of it to uh, to uh, on Common Sense. What did you think of it on Common Sense? I think you say you liked it. I love. I oh my gosh, that this perfume. And you know, I'm so sorry that you know the, it it leaks, the tap uh, leaks. But if you if you guys don't like wood. And you try this perfume, you will fall in love with wood. I'm I'm an wood lover. I will I mean I will wear anything that has wood in it. That's how much I uh, I I uh, I love it. So John said, I've never tried Killian Woods wood, but I haven't tried any of his woods, only the boozy ones. Oh, okay. I don't I don't I don't think I have any wood from Killian. I have four or five bottles from Killian. I cannot even remember their, their names. On comment says the open oh, the opening is me. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. But the dry down, that that mid and dry down though, oh, I know. Oh my gosh. So, Wood for Greatness, there is a story with Wood for Greatness. Uh, and I've, you know, I talk about it all the time. He's gonna kill me for talking about, for saying that again. So I have a perfume, uh, we are, we, I'm part of a perfume group called Perfume Corner, right? And uh, there's a uh, really nice guy uh, there who lives in New Zealand. During COVID, during the really big stretch of COVID in the beginning when a lot of people were, you know, a lot of places were closed and he ordered wood for greatness and it was taking forever, forever, right? I'm going to address your question in a minute, uh, in a minute, uh, uh, six rock and robin. <laughs> uh, he was talking about it, how, you know, how much, how long it was taking, it was taking, it was taking, uh, for him to get uh julian so you want to test of that one instead you got it you got it my friend i will uh, i will make sure you get the test of that one instead and how much you know he uh he he wanted to get it so i was like you know what i'm just going to uh just buy it so on common sense what did you have to call his name seriously you, no you're gonna get me in trouble right you're gonna get me in trouble with him because i wasn't supposed to call his name again <laughs> yes it was George. So, because he was talking so much about it that he, how much he wanted it, he wanted it, he wanted it. Yeah, yeah, please guys, if you like this video, please, this live, please hit the like, the, the likes button for me. And uh, I went and bought it and I have not regretted it ever since. Uh, John said, Old for good, goodness smells good. I don't get why people compare to BR540. It is nothing like BR540, I'm sorry. I have BR540. BR this one is to me is ten times better than BR540. I don't know why people think you know it's the same. It, they, they are not the same perfume, and there is a dupe of it out, and the bottle looks the same from uh, the dupe out there. And I saw it this week, and I was like, oh my god. So uh, six rock and robin, uh, you said you know what other name would I have for this perfume? Uh, so <laughs> uncommon said this may be the multiple one. I don't know. I need to find. I need to find uh, a name for this perfume because this is one. This this gonna be part of my collection uh, for a very long time. The, you know, I think. Oh, it's still full. Yeah, I've given some out of it, but it's it's still it's still full enough that I can wear it for maybe for another year. It's great. It's 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 a love for me. So this 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 has moved to my top twenty. This perfume has moved, made its way to my top 20. Again, wood for greatness. Look at the bottle. Beautiful bottle. Don't pay full price for it, guys, for it, guys because you can get it on... Uh, we have a lot of uh, people on Fragcom who they sell this perfume. You can get it for at, at a uh, really discounted, discounted price. Uh, perfumes with Pat said wood for, great, wood for greatness. Oh, you're too late, Pat. Uh, someone already, uh, already uh, won it. 
John, it seems like people compare every damn thing to BR 540. I know. I don't know why people feel the need to compare everything to BR 540. BR 540, you know, is in, you know, in its own, you know, in its own niche of kind of perfume. I have BR 540 and I, you know, I have yet to wear it since I've had it, but uh, I may probably wear it next week and, and, and talk about it or maybe even do a video. Uh, but, you know, it's nothing like BR 540. There's a dupe out there for it and the bottle looks the same. So if you buy the dupe, let me know uh, what you think of the dupe. But I don't think you know you should. Anybody should compare BR 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 five forty. You know to, to this perfume. So what perfumes? What are you guys wearing tonight? Uh, I want to hear what you guys are wearing tonight. Uh, Julian, what are you wearing tonight, uh, my friend? So on common sense, you said you're going to get it soon. You're going to get uh, this one. Yeah, it's worth it. It's worth uh, having it. It could be your going out uh, perfume, right? Something to wear out. And if you do want to work, do not put on put a lot of it on because it's just, it's, it's so strong, but then very nice also. You don't need to put a lot on. If you put a lot on, you're going to waste it, you know, because it's, it's kind of pricey. So let's see. It's going to take two years to get to get here, though. Why is it going to take two years to get here? Uh, on common sense. Okay, so, okay, so, <laughs> Julia said, "I'm a little uh, 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 daft. Uh, what the f is an oud? Okay, can someone explain what an oud perfume is to Julia? Because it's it's going to be tough for me to explain it. Uh, if somebody could please explain what an oud perfume." Uh, scent of the night for Nelly is uh, Kajal Jewelry. I don't, I don't know that one, Nelly. Uh, Kajal Jewelry. I don't know this perfume. Uh, Uncommon says I would have worked to work. Yes, please don't. John said he's wearing Jewelry Psychedelic. That's a good one. Really good uh, patchouli. Not too sweet, though. Not too sweet. I, it's not as sweet as this patchouli here, but it, uh, Jewelry Patchouli is a, uh, Psychedelic is a really good one. Amina uh, said, uh, Creed, Julian is wearing Creed. Oh, wow. No, no. And Misty said, I'm wearing Papillon Bengal Rouge. Oversprayed and I have about smothered myself today. <laughs> Last time I oversprayed a perfume, I almost ended up, ended up in the hospital. And it, it, I got so mad, I gave it away. I donated, I, I donated that perfume to someone because it, it almost choked me, almost choked me to death. Amina said, uh, you too, John. Okay, what perfume are you wearing, Amina? Uh, Al Haram Al Haram and Junon. Oh, Cheryl is wearing Al Haram and Junon. That's a good one, Cheryl. Uh, uh, Cheryl. Uh, she's uh, wearing Drowning in Vanilla by Dua. It's an extra de perfume, and, and, she, and you love it. Wow, I'm gonna come back to this live and then and, and read those, some of those notes. You guys are gonna get me in trouble next week because I'm gonna start looking for all of these perfumes that I don't really need because I had like three boxes were delivered today. Uh, which box, which bottle looks expensive? Uh, man, yeah, it's a little pricey, but it's you know, it's not something I wouldn't say just go by and, and buy all expensive perfumes uh, and put them in your collection. But certain certain perfumes are worth having, and this is one of this is one of them. If you like oud perfumes, and this this is one of them that is you know uh, that's worth having. So man, everyone is smelling amazing. Yeah, I know. Sounds yeah, sounds like everybody's smelling amazing today. And you guys, I know you guys don't have uh, anything anything to wear. So uncommon sense, the dupe is coming from Saudi Arabia. Uh, uncommon sense, you don't have to get it from Saudi Arabia. They have it. Amazon has the dupe. You know that perfume that Akisia gave you? That same company makes the dupe for this one. It's in the same bottle. The bottle looks the same, except this bottle is a little more refined. Don't you don't have to wear from to get it from Saudi Arabia? It's from Amazon. Fifty-seven bucks. I saw it. I saw it on Amazon. Uh, they don't have it here. Yes, they do. They have they have it here. Uh, try it. Try the one from Amazon. Uh, Julia said. 
uh, Prada by Prada, not discontinued, but truly mutual. Oh, sorry to hear that it's discontinued. And wood is the resin uh, from. Okay, so Julia, here's your here's your answer to uh, uh to what 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 wood is. Wood is a resin from an uh, agar tree. They get infected and create a snap that is aged and harvested. So here's here's the answer to your question, uh, uh, Julia. I think wood perfumes are great for fall and, and, and winter. I don't know if you guys agree with me. They are uh, excellent uh, for, for winter. Yeah, so Lulu said she saw it too. Yeah, it's, it's on Amazon uh, on Common Sense. Get it from there. It's, you know, don't wait Don't wait for it to come from Saudi Arabia. That's, that's going to take forever. So Mike PL, Mike PL said, I was afraid to ask about uh, what an wood is. I'm glad I'm not the only one who doesn't <laughs> know what it is. Spill the 411 out on comment. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, okay, is it fragrant that's within us with his incense? So, uh, see, uh, uh, Julia, you have a lot of people uh, uh, helping you. And this guy here, uh, Fragrance Anatomy, knows about the, uh, a lot of perfume. And Nelly said, just check Amazon, uh, Old for Glory for $69.99. Is that the name of it? Yes. Uh, so if you're going to buy it on Common Sense, please click to my Amazon link so you can support my channel. It will cost you the same amount. You will not pay anything extra except, you know, fragrance. Uh, Dr. Rose's Perfume Corner will get uh, some, you know, uh, something if you if you click on my Amazon link and then it's on uh, some of my videos. And I will also put it uh, put it on this one. Don't buy it yet. Wait, wait till, till you uh, go to my link to buy it. And if you buy it, uh, send me a test of it because I like to compare compare it uh, to this one. Uh, Lulu said, "Just uh, you just you just ordered it, Lulu. Oh my God! <laughs> Which one, the dupe or the, the actual perfume, Lulu? Because I know you say you don't like dupe. I think the link is there is there uh, on Common Sense, but uh, I will make sure that you know I post it after this video after we, we go live. So uh, someone said, Lulu." Uh, you already broke. So, Lulu, you already broke your wool. Yeah, I thought you said no more perfume, Lulu. Why are you buying perfume again? Oh, you bought the dupe. Okay. Well, uh, let me know uh, what it smells like, you know, when you when, when you get it. So, for those of you who are new here uh, today to this live, so uh, let me tell you about this uh, scarf. You can get this scarf uh, from the Ford uh, Foundation. They sell this scarf. It's to support. Because you can see it's pink. It's to support uh, black. I'm, I'm sorry, women with uh, with uh, breast cancer. It's to support the Breast Cancer Foundation. They also pay uh, you know uh, money for women to have mammograms. They help them with you know uh, with uh, getting to the doctors with uh, surgeries, and uh, the proceed goes to the uh, uh, cancer foundation, breast cancer foundation. So if you are into supporting that charity please support them and and buy from them buy it and it, it's a great scarf they have other ones also i have a couple of them because i've been buying them uh uh for a while it's you know it uh, it doesn't the, the camera doesn't do it justice because this is like a vibrant you know vibrant pink uh uh, uh scarf it's the infinity scarf it's it's really it's really beautiful it's it's a, a good scarf to to have uh, to support a, a great cause. And uh, on Tuesday at uh, 8 p.m. Central and 7 p.m. Central, I'm sorry, and 8 p.m. Eastern time, uh, I'm having, we're having a live. It will be Amina uh, from uh, Experiencing Fragrances with Amina. It will be myself. It will be uh, Tara from Olfactophile and also Erin from Erin, uh, 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 Erin Sullivan Beauty. So we are going to have a live here, uh, you know, on on Facebook and on, on also YouTube. We are going to talk about fragrances and also talk about breast cancer. Uh, please join us, uh, support this, this great cause. And uh, for everybody who joins this cause, I'm going to donate, uh, I think it's a dollar or, or, or 50 cents, I don't remember. I'm going to, to donate for everybody who just. So if we have a thousand people, I will donate a thousand dollars to this cause, and uh, to show you that we are serious about it. And also anybody who who who, who comes and uh, back after the live, 
they go to the video, they watch the video, and they also click the like button and make a comment. I will also donate 20, add 25 cents for everybody for the for the last for the next seven days after the video uh, 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 airs uh, uh, online. When you uh, uh, come to uh, uh, William said, "Where can I find this? Uh, how much and where can I find this scarf?" I think the scarf was between 25 and 30 dollars. William, what I'm going to do, I will post a link on my channel, or I can just text it to you. And if you want me to get it for you, for your, you know, for your lady, let me know. I can get it and send it to your house. They may have other colors, you know, uh, not other colors because most of them are like that pink, orange. They have some blue ones. They have some really great uh, looking ones. Uh, let me know if you want me to, to get one for you. It's a, it's a, it's a, it will be a good gift to give people for Christmas because you know it's a, you know, it's something to support supporting uh, women, you know, uh, uh, you know, cancer research. Uh, breast cancer uh, breast cancer research so again with, with the show that we're doing uh, on tuesday when you join this show what will happen is that uh, i will donate some money and we're also going to have some perfume to sell so for example and i will have some also some breast cancer pens that i uh, i ordered uh i will be selling them so if, if a perfume costs maybe like 25 dollars i might sell it for 30 right and if you guys want to buy it for that 30 dollars so what i would do I will uh, uh, take that five dollars that you give you guys, you know, that the extra money from from the proceed from that perfume. I will donate it to the uh, uh, cancer can, cancer research. One way that you will know that we are serious about it is that after the show airs for seven days, we will tally up uh, all the money that we, we've collected, and we will get a check. I will personally go to a bank, go to a local bank, get a check, a cashier's check, with the money. And uh, I will send it uh, to the Cancer Foundation. But before I do that, I will take a picture of the check and I will post it on YouTube, on Facebook, and I will also post it on my community tab so ev everybody will see, you know, what some their donations, you know, the work, the impact that your donation is doing. Right now, I have a link also on my Facebook Facebook page where I'm trying to collect, you know, some a little bit of money. That money is not coming to me at all; it's going straight. To the cancer foundation so if you click on that link my if for those of you who are on my youtube uh facebook page if you click on that link you will see that link is there directly and then you'll see the tax id number for the cancer foundation it goes directly to them it doesn't come to me it just i just posted the link there and then i donated uh, some money i think amina has also donated and then uh, uh tara's already already donated i haven't checked it today to see how many other people are uh, I've, I've donated to this. Thank you so much, uh, Julia. And on Tuesday, when I do the live, I have a personal uh, story story to share, uh, to share to, to share with you guys. Uh, I'm not a cancer survivor, but uh, I, you know, uh, I have a, sto a, a, sto a story to share, and you will see why I'm, uh, I, I support th this gr this great great cause. Uh, when on Tuesday, when I don't want to give it away now, so on, on Tuesday, I will I will share it with you guys. And if you if you, if you don't have a chance to you know, to, to join uh, on Tuesday, please try to join later on. And uh, if you want to donate something, I will also post maybe a link where you can donate on, on my uh, <coughs> on my cash app or on my, <coughs> sorry, either my cash app or, or PayPal. And then I will make sure that I get a receipt out to you that says that you, you, you made that donation. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Thank you, thank you, uh, um, uh, Six Rock and Robin. I love that name, Six Rock and Robin. Like, it's like, you know, I'm rocking you, right? Uh, John said, my sister beat cancer two years ago. It was left uh, uh, node cancer, though. Oh, my God. So happy for your sister, John. So happy for her. She's one of the lucky ones, you know, who were able to, to, to beat this. So happy for her. And uh, I hope she, she knows how lucky she is. And you know, God protects her, and this thing, you know, she, she, you know, she kick, uh, kicks, uh, cancer's ass. So I'm so I'm happy for her. Uh, there are a lot of women who did not, you know, uh, uh, kick this thing, uh, unfortunately. But we have some warrior women out there, guys. Some women who are fighting this thing, fighting it day in and day out, and you know, they are making it. They are making it. So please support that this great cause. Support it. Uh, I will bring, uh, I ordered some perfumes today and I will, uh, I will even sell them for half price just so that, you know, the money could actually go to the, to, to, to the cancer foundation. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Elfin. Thank you. I, I, I really appreciate that. And if anybody wants to buy this scarf, since I bought it last year, uh, I'm happy to sell it. 
right? Because because I have two or three other ones from the same, you know, uh, breast cancer uh, uh, foundation uh, uh, website. If anybody want, would like to, to buy this one, uh, I will send it to the cleaners and then I will sell it to you. You can have it for $25 free shipping. And that money, what you can do, don't give me the money. Just go to my uh, uh, Facebook page and, 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 and do a donation on my Facebook page for that, you know, and say this is for the score. And then let me know that you made the donation. The, the $25 will go directly to the Cancer Foundation and then I will send you the score. Deal? Isn't that a good deal? I will mail it to you. Uh, she is a very positive person. She was very upbeat about her fight, even when she lost her hair doing chemo. Oh, hair is nothing. Look, let me tell you something, John. A woman losing her hair doing chemo, it may look like a bad thing, but most women say that that hair uh, uh, com comes back thicker and nicer, right? losing the hair doing chemo and staying alive to me is like you know what it's hair hair is hair it's gonna go it's gonna it's gonna come back you know uh uh uh, uh later on uh but fighting it and staying alive is the key you know i'm i'm getting uh, goosebumps just talking about this this that, that's how passionate i am about you know this, this 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 organization that are saving lives you know getting rid of this thing you know helping women out there uh hi uh Raj Q. Marie Singh. Hi. Hi. Good night. Uh, how are you? You are new here. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining. I haven't seen you. I love when I see new people uh, uh, in, in my life. This makes me feel so happy when I see uh, new people here. I, I'm, I'm loving it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Missy said, who bless your heart? Uh, six work and six kids. You are a wonder woman. Oh, my God. Six kids? One kid and one dog uh, is driving you a bad shit. <laughs> Missy, do you know why your kids and your dog are driving you bad shit? Because you drive me bad shit. Don't think that I, I'm, I'm forget, forgetting about, you know, getting you. I'm going to get you for what you did to me in the uh, Facebook uh, uh, group. I'm going to get you. Uh, and Elfin uh, only said she is watching uh, today. She couldn't send comments, but she gave you a thumbs up. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Andres. So for those of you who don't know Elfin V and her sister, uh, Andres, I grew up with these guys in Haiti, guys. We were like, you know, like sisters. We grew up and we came to the States. We could spend maybe a year, right, without talking to each other. And the minute we start talking, it's like we had, we used to talk every day. That's how close those, those girls are to, to us, to my family. We love those girls. They love us. And Elfie now, you know, uh, she lives in New Jersey and I've uh, been to her house. You know, when I go to her house, I'm like, she cooks for me. So I'm, I may even go there for Thanksgiving <laughs> because she's going to cook for me. <laughs> so I just go to her house and eat her food. <laughs> I love Elfin. Love her family. Her, her mom. Uh, I was uh, in Pennsylvania one, one day, one week I went to work in Pennsylvania and went to her, her mom's house for that weekend. Her mother cooked like food for me for the whole month. That woman gave me so much food. I got to the hotel. They had to give me two, you know, the small refrigerator they give you. They had to give me two of them <laughs> to put the food. So that entire week, I ate some really great Haitian food, rice and beans and fish and some legume. I mean, great, great food. Oh, my gosh. I, you know, every time I, I go to New Jersey, I'm like, Elfin, you got to cook. And she, she's, she's like one of the best cook. If you guys ever having a party in your house, call her. <laughs> call Elfin. She'll come and she'll be the cook for you. She is like excellent at cooking. All right. So I think I'm done for the night. It's 8.45. I've been here for an hour, uh, for almost an hour, an hour and 13 minutes. And I said I was, on, I was only going to keep you guys for, uh, for 30 minutes. So let me recap with the person for the night, right? Wood for greatness. I think this is number one, right? That's the number one perfume for the week. Uh, patchouli Ardent, that was my number number three, I would say number three perfumes for the week. Is The reason why I'm giving it number three is because I, I have to give my favorite perfume number two. That was my number, number three perfume for the week, right? Uh, Jasmine Rouge, that was my number two. This is like, oh... Like super, 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 super nice, uh, nice perfume, right? Uh, number three, 
Number four is uh, Carnal Flower. Great, great, great perfume again, you know, super wonderful perfume. And number five was uh, Mansera Saharian Wind, right? Yes, uh, thank you so much, Julian Craig. Yes, everyone, please don't forget to uh, to like and, and and comment when you when you go uh, after the show, and you can actually go to the to the channel and, and comment and, and and like and and like the show if you if you did not like it, uh, if you did not push the, the like button. Uh, thank you, Nelly. Thank you so much, Nelly. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight, and for those of you who have donated, thank you so much. And for those of you who is going to be part of the show um, of the cancer uh, research uh, uh, show. Uh, please, you know, uh, feel free to come and, and donate and the proceed will go to, you know, everything that you donate for that night will go to the to cancer research and then I will show you proof that we have, you know, uh, what we've done with that money. Uh, and try to have a good weekend. Be safe. Uh, please, please wear your mask. Uh, it is still, you know, a COVID coronavirus. Mr. Mr. Rona is still out there. Protect yourself, protect your loved ones. And one more thing, don't forget to wear perfumes. Stay beautiful and have a good weekend. Thank you, everyone. Bye now. Bye.